today, we're proud to be showcasing a small slice of our single-player campaign. What's our plan? Our plan? You're not an apprentice anymore, boy. So study your surroundings. Devise your own plan. I'm not here to hold your hand. No targets in reach. Out of the way. Move. Where the hell was Duchesneau? Oh. If you can't find a weakness to exploit, make one. You've secured the cathedral? Oui, monsieur. Good. Tell Sivert. I'll meet him inside. Opportunities everywhere. You! Get back here with my keys! Thieves! And if all other plans fail, why not sacrifice yourself for the cause, your life for his, before I'll tear? That was the Levantine approach. You mean a dagger in broad daylight as I'm cut down where I stand? Sends a powerful message. I'll do it my way. Whatever you think best, assassin. This is one of Arnaud's first assignments as an assassin, and he must kill Charles Gabriel Sivard, a thuggish Templar with strong economic connections. All of the game's main assassinations now take place in a new type of mission called Black Boxes. These missions are designed to let players craft their unique experience by allowing them to approach the mission any way they see fit. In other words, we give you an objective and that's it. No linear paths or narrow level design are forced upon you. You make your own opportunities. Additionally, we provide you with mod missions, which are optional objectives within the mission, which actually change how it unfolds. More on that later. Let's find another way of infiltrating Notre Dame. This is where the mod missions come into play. We first saw a hint of it in the intro cinematic regarding a man called Duchesneau. Let's look for him in this crowd gathered in front of Notre Dame. This is the only way in or out, and we paid off the guards. When Monsieur Sever arrived. We could try to kill him now, but there are too many guards around. It seems that he's meeting a priest. We might get useful information by following him. The new parkour experience gives you improved freedom of movement and allows you to select different paths on the fly. We really wanted to improve the player's stealth experience in Unity and have consequently integrated a brand new stealth mode. Let's use this silent approach to reach Duchesneau. Stealth mode can be activated anywhere and provides you with the silence and agility of a predator. God only gets ten. Who the hell does Sivir think he is? How long will it be before the revolutionaries descend on Mother Church like the locusts? Very well. I'll make arrangements with Monsieur Sever and see that the confessionals are closed. My employer prefers to discuss business we got the info we needed. Let's use a smoke bomb to blind and assassinate Duchesneau. By the time the smoke dissipates, I'll be long gone. <laughs> Lifts are still present in ACU, and you can use them for quick access to harder to reach places. This door is locked. I could try to pick the lock, but I don't yet have the lockpick skill. Let's follow our current lead and continue the mod mission objective. Climbing Notre Dame, you can see the level of detail and realism we've attained in the recreation of this iconic landmark. From the top, you can see the city of Paris spread out as far as the eye can see. Paris is the biggest, densest, and most immersive city we've ever created. Oh, 
Absolutely senseless. Well, that's adventurous. Here are the thugs we saw in the cinematic. They stole the keys to Notre Dame from the priests. By stealing them back, I could enter the cathedral much more easily. Let's avoid getting into a fight by using a stealth approach. <laughs> uh, what shall we do next? Well, seeing as how I stole his keys, why not raid the Archbishop's wine cellar? Now that we have the keys, we can finally enter Notre Dame. Note that this is but one of 10 possible entrances. Notice the attention to detail we've put into recreating the massive Notre Dame interior. All iconic landmarks in ACU have fully modeled custom interiors, all filled with various activities. We still have the iconic leap of fate. Just look for a haystack. The red dot on the minimap and the bottom left of the screen indicates the location of Sivar, our target. Move! Out my way. Ab omine iniquo et doloso eure me, via tues Deus potitudo mea. Quare me repolisti et quare tristis in cedo, tum affligit me inimicus, emite lucem tuam et veritatem tuam. Ipsa me deduxerunt et aduxerunt in montem sanctum tuum. Et in tabernacula tua, adjutorium nostrum in nomine Domini, vi vecit celum... Sivar entered the confessional, where he was supposed to meet Duchesneau. But, as we've taken care of Duchesneau in the first mod mission, we can take his place in the confessional and kill Sivar, without alarming the guards. Everything's in place. Finally saw Lisa, did he? What's our cut? 30%? Good, good. This is our moment, my friend. Petty nobles are ripe enough fruits, but the church has been leeching off the people for centuries. We crack their faults. The Grand Master cannot fail to recognize our work. As you say, Monsieur. Good. Wait here. See that we're not disturbed. Monsieur Latouche, I'm here to see the King of Beggars. You're right, monsieur. Do my Come away! Et adulcerum in montem sanctum tuum, et in tabernacula tua, adjutorium... We have to escape Notre Dame, but, given the number of guards, using the main entrance would be suicidal. The Paris of ACU is a multi-layered city with multiple underground passages. You can enter a building from the top and get out through the underground. 
the possibilities are endless. This demo was but a glimpse of our rich open world. Stay tuned for more. Poor France is ill, and our city is a wound, inflamed by all efforts to heal her. A king once ruled, headstrong and corrupt, now headless and a corpse, murdered by men just as vile. Today, fanatics from all sides spill blood on every corner. A thousand terrors I mean to cure, day by day, street by street, Templar by Templar. Hello, my name is Alex Amancio, and I'm the creative director of Assassin's Creed Unity. Welcome to the streets of Paris, the most beautiful city in the world, in the throes of a bloody revolution. Atop the Notre Dame, our hero, Arnaud, surveys the scene. Let's make our way down using Control Descent, one of the new additions to navigation in ACU. We have completely overhauled navigation, allowing you to plan and execute exactly where you want to go. Essentially, you don't have to look for a haystack to get the street level anymore. This massive crowd is gathered in front of Notre Dame because clergy is being dragged out. Players can choose whether they want to get involved or not. Save the clergy, which will attract attention, or let them be murdered and stay hidden. The choice is yours. I think the gods can handle these words. My target may be on the move. As you can see, the city is completely alive, with inhabitants going about their business, getting robbed, or investigating curious events. You will need to learn how to read the crowd in order to get a read on possible gameplay activities. For example, the crowd looking inside the building is curious about a recent murder. This is a cue for one of our murder mystery missions. Let's take a look inside the building, seamlessly, for the first time ever. Bear up, madame. I will return to see justice done. We'll add this mission to our quest log and keep moving towards our target. Remember, Paris is in the midst of a revolution, and systemic fights can break out at any moment. As you can see, the people are taking the fight to the aggressors, the enemy faction in ACU. Here's the story. If I'm not too late, I'll catch Captain Xavier at his dinner. Our target is in a social club, one of the new types of locations in ACU. We'll need to make our way inside. Let's use a direct approach. Combat is much more challenging in ACU, and players will have to make good use of their wit, tools, and new combat moves. Among these, you will see the parry, dodge, tackle, and heavy attack. Before entering the building, Let's use Eagle Pulse to plan our approach and see what's waiting for us inside. You can enter many buildings in Paris, which makes for countless new gameplay situations. Let's switch to stealth mode and try a non-lethal approach. For the first time in Assassin's Creed, we have a dedicated stealth mode, triggered at the press of a button. Stealth mode makes you harder to detect and allows you to circumnavigate enemies by using a cover-to-cover -cover approach. Our target is hiding away on the third floor. Let's get to him. It wasn't me. I'm not the man you are. Where is he? But it is this, the executions. Good. You should leave this place. Merci, monsieur. Merci. Merci. It seems our target isn't here. Let's make our way to the Palais de Justice and track him down. You can see the unique skyline of Paris, as well as the one-to-one -one scale of the city, which gives navigation a completely new feeling. To support the assassin advantage on rooftops, we've added the high ground feature, letting us quickly and seamlessly 
see the gameplay opportunities around us. Taverns are social hubs of a kind, offering a variety of options to players, such as shopkeepers and join-in-progress opportunities for co-op missions. Food was becoming scarce at this stage of the revolution, and these people are arguing over grain. We could get involved, but we'll go past it for today. This street is blocked by aggressors, the enemy faction. We can't fight them because that will attract protectors and we aren't quite strong enough to fight them off yet. We'll avoid these for now by parkouring up this wall. This massive crowd has gathered to watch the public executions by the guillotine down the street. To find our target, we'll use Eagle Pulse, a limited skill right now as we haven't unlocked the full power yet. Our target, Capitaine Xavier, is making his way to the guillotine stand to start the executions. As an assassin, we are the blade in the crowd. We have a lot of ways we could kill our target. We can use the Phantom Blade, the new assassin's signature weapon. We could use a stun bomb on the guards. Or we could use the new disguise skill and walk right up to him. In this case, let's send a message to the Templars and make this execution as public as we can. For the first time ever, you can experience the open world of Paris with up to three friends in one of the most brutal, chaotic time periods in human history, the French Revolution. Today's mission takes place at the dawn of the French Revolution, where the people of France are dying of starvation. Four assassins will be playing together to infiltrate a royal palace under siege. Your objective is to assassinate the Marquis, a corrupt noble hoarding food and help bring justice to the people. We've built the city of Paris to be a truly open world, entirely available for you and your friends to explore. The result is an urban playground that's yours to discover with seamless interiors, massive catacombs, and monumental scope and scale. The mob demands justice. Unity's new massive crowds are made up of thousands of active AIs. They'll react to players and each other to help create a feeling of immersion. These chain reactions can be used to your advantage. Coordination is key when playing with friends. His air assassination just saved me from being discovered. Detection would mean a completely different experience and outcome. Assassinating the guards inspired the crowd to storm the palace by force. These massive crowds are but one of Paris's inhabitants. Rival factions fight for control in the bloody revolution streets. While we entered the palace through the front gate, two of our friends managed to find another way in and helped us just in time. Unity's online experience is at its best during those split-second moments of synchronicity, saving friends, avoiding detection, or going all out in full combat. Take care of this, or I will use your head as a boss. That's our target. He's heavily guarded. We should keep exploring the palace and look for a better opportunity to strike. First one that brings me ahead gets 50 soon. You heard me. Fortunately, one of our friends has used his lockpick skill to open an alternate path. In Unity, you'll have multiple ways to execute your strategy. 
That freedom, alongside randomized ingredients such as guards, locations, mm. paths, or rewards, ensure each new playthrough is different. <gasps> That was close. I almost got detected by those two guards, but my friend got to them first. I returned the favor by taking out the last one with my new stealth weapon, the Phantom Blade. This courtyard is called the Jardin du Luxembourg. It's just one of the many historical locations you'll explore in the game. From the Notre Dame Cathedral to the creepy tunnel of the catacombs, you'll discover Paris in a way you've never seen it before. coming. Despite the poor sports outside, our illustrious host, the Marquis, wishes to assure you that the rabble outside can cause us no... Playing with friends means that combat is cooperative, deeper, and more challenging. You can stake out large areas, plan, strategize, and take down much bigger threats together. together. Spare me, please. They're only peasants! Experience the chaos of the French Revolution with your friends in Assassin's Creed Unity. Thank you. Our hero Shay is an assassin turned Templar who vows to bring down the assassins in North America across three major locations. New York City, the American River Valley, and here in the North Atlantic Ocean along the coasts of Nova Scotia and Newfoundland in the south of Canada. This naval battlefield was at the heart of the conflict between Britain and France during the Seven Years' War in the 18th century and the outcome would determine the fate of the American colonies. As a Templar, you'll have many opportunities to aid the British cause against